have here. It's Nitro by Psygnosis. Nitro is a top view racing game that takes place in a post-apocalyptic setting. If you were lucky enough to play the Sega arcade game Hot Rod, this game is modeled after that one. Basically, the player competes in a series of very short races. Between each race is a shop where you can upgrade your car, and the main threat to your survival is actually not coming in last place, it's running out of gas. And even though this sounds a little bit like Super Sprint, you will see pretty quickly that it's quite different. I was very happy to find a NTSC copy of Nitro for sale. You know, I never really knew about this one back in the day, but I discovered it when Amiga emulation became possible, and it quickly became one of my favorite racers on the platform. Not to say it's perfect or anything, actually far from it, but I'll show you why it's worth checking out. But first, we have to watch the elaborate 3D rendered intro. Back in the day, this was really impressive because they fit not just the game, but the introduction on a floppy disk. Uh, those don't hold a whole lot of data, and this was well before CD-ROM was a thing. At least on home computers, uh, we're not counting the PC engine. Okay, so let's begin the game. Nitro gives the ability to play as a three-player game, with two players on joystick and one player on the keyboard. And yes, that is a cyborg Clint Eastwood. And now it's time to pick a car. You have three cars, with the racing car being the best for asphalt, which you'll use most of the time. Uh, the turbo buggy doesn't use much fuel, and it's pretty good off-road. And the sports car is average in everything. As the game loads the level, you get this nice artwork and a cool loading tune. Uh, my one beef, however, is that the game loads between each race, which does seem a little bit excessive. Now, this is the actual load time off floppy disks. It's a bit faster if you're playing it off a hard drive. Okay, so you can immediately see that Nitro plays a bit differently from similar Top View racing games. First of all, there's lots of obstacles on the track as well as power-ups, and the game plays a bit like bumper cars with lots of close contact between the vehicles. Races tend to be very short. That's one whole race. There's no laps in Nitro, which is something that I really welcome. Between each race, you are awarded with points and gas. In Nitro, instead of having lives or ranking out, uh, if you run out of gas, then it's game over. And here's the shop between levels, as promised. Uh, I would advocate always going for upgrading your car over other things, unless you really need repairs. Courses in Nitro are nicely varied, and there are 32 tracks across four different motifs. Every so often, they throw in a night race level, and these are pretty cool except for one thing. They slow the game down, by which I mean the whole game moves slower. This is the 60 Hz NTSC edition of Nitro, and so the 50 Hz one might not have this issue. I have a couple other gripes about the game. One is that there's only one in-game music track. Although it suits the game well and is punctuated by all kinds of menu music, it does wear out its welcome after 32 races. And another complaint I have about Nitro is a big one. In single player mode, the game is just too easy. I don't think I've played a game where being easy was this much of an issue since Ness Gyrus. The sad thing is, I think that would have been easy to fix. For example, you could cap the amount of gas you could keep at any one time. You could make the computer players a bit faster. Whatever the case is, Nitro really does shine in multiplayer mode. This mode changes the rules quite a bit, and I think it's for the best. I actually wish these rules were in effect in single player mode as well. So what's going on here is that whenever any player falls behind enough to fall off the screen, they get bumped ahead, but it's at a cost of gasoline. So if you fall behind enough, 
Your tank runs dry and it's game over. Yup, the two and three player matches in Nitro are really what make the game worth playing. They're fun, competitive, and tense, and what I really like is that there's basically rubber banding for the weaker player, but it's not without penalty. And yes, this system is copied from Hot Rod by Sega, but it's done very well here, and there aren't many games that do it, much less do it well. The only other one I can really think of off the top of my head is Motor Rotor 1 and 2 for the PC Engine, and those, in my opinion, are both abysmal. Not only that, but Nitro is better than the home ports of Hot Rod that we received by quite a bit. Even when Nitro is too easy in single player mode, it's still quite a lot of fun because it has really tight controls, really varied tracks, and really bold arcade style graphics. If you have a friend or two who'd be down to play a retro racing game, I can recommend this game without reservation. But if you are looking for a really good single player top view racing game, I would definitely recommend trying before you buy.